हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट classification of liver injury which is actually moore's classification of liver injury now we have grade 1 in the grade 1 you have two things grade 1 first grade 1 right if in the grade 1 if the hematoma is sub capsular and if laceration is seen has a capsular tear of less than 1 cm that means if this is the liver and there is a subcapsular hematoma in less than 10 sur percent of surface area and if there is a laceration is present in less than 1 cm of parenchymal depth then at that is grade 1 then we have grade 2 then what do you see in grade 2 in grade 2 you will see that there is subcapsular hematoma is present but it is grade 2 so it is 10 to 50% of surface area and there is laceration is seen with it's not here capsular it is actually intraparenchymal tear now intraparenchymal tear here is actually less than 10 cm along with intraparenchymal tear will be less than 10 cm in parenchymal depth in diameter actually which is less than 10 cm in diameter or there is laceration which is intraparenchymal tear which is less than 10 cm in diameter and almost 1 to 3 cm parenchymal depth and this is actually involving less than 10 cm in area or in length so this is grade 2 so what does this mean let me show you so if this is the liver okay now there is a subcapsular hematoma which is involving 10 to 15 Fifty percent of surface area, and there is an intraparenchymal tear of more than ten centimeters in diameter. The diameter is more than ten centimeters, and it is involving one to three centimeters of parenchymal depth, and it is less than ten centimeters in length. Then third, third we have subcapsular hematoma. Now in the third we have a subcapsular. in grade 3 we have number 1 hematoma now the hematoma in grade 3 is actually a subcapsular hematoma okay it is seen in less than 50% of surface area okay it is sorry okay this hematoma is subcapsular which is seen more than 50% of surface area and it is expanding it is present for more than 50% of surface area it is expanding and it has called sub ruptured subcapsular and parenchymal hematoma a hematoma in the parenchyma or subcapsular it has ruptured resulting in this hematoma then laceration may be seen and the laceration here is intraparenchymal in nature this laceration is actually intraparenchymal with hematoma more than 10 cm so if you see here this is a, this is the same one right so here you will see a hematoma which is more than 10 cm and it is expanding and it has a, a depth of more than 3 cm that is grade 3 then we have grade 4 in grade 4 in grade 4 we have the involvement or laceration is seen in the grade 4 in the grade 4 there is laceration is seen with parenchymal distortion of 25 to 50% of hepatic lobule if this is the hepatic lobule almost 25 to 50% of hepatic lobule is disrupted there is parenchymal disruption of 25 to 75% of hepatic lobule is seen or if there is disruption of 1 to 3 conoid segments in single lobe then it is called has grade 4 then we have grade 5 in grade 5 there is involvement of laceration again so here we have grade 5 here in grade 5 there is laceration is seen which is involving the parenchymal disruption so here also in grade 5 
there is laceration is seen which is actually involving the 75% or more than 75% hepatic lobule is involved or there is involvement of more than three conoid segments are involved in a single lobule or if you see vascular injury in the grade 5 there is also vascular injury if there is injury to the juxta hepatic venous injuries like if there is injury to the retroperitoneal venous vena cava if there is injury to the retrohepatic uh, vena cava or if there is injury to the central major hepatic veins then that is grade 4 grade 5 then we have grade 6 in grade 6 in grade 6 we have vascular injury where there is hepatic pedicle avulsion is seen that is the blood supply so sorry in grade 6 in grade 6 there is blood supply through hepatic artery and the hepatic vein so this has been avulsed so that is grade 6 thank you and thank you for watching